Welcome back guys. Today we are talking about how to survive an EMP and how to protect your electronics. And no, this isn't tinfoil hat conspiracy hour. This is straight up reality. Imagine waking up tomorrow and your phone is dead. Not low battery dead, I mean fried. Your car won't start. Your fridge is a tomb of slowly rotting meat. The lights, gone. The Wi-Fi, dead. Uh, that little dopamine machine in your pocket, a shiny brick. That's the power of an EMP. And if you're not ready, you're basically a caveman with Netflix withdrawals. So strap in, grab a coffee, hell, maybe stockpile it too. And by the end of this video, you will know how to protect your electronics, your sanity, and maybe your life. Before we dive in, hit that subscribe button. Because when the lights go out, at least you'll remember the last video that tried to save your butt. What is an EMP? EMP stands for electromagnetic pulse. It's basically an invisible sledgehammer that smashes everything electronic. Nuclear blast in the atmosphere. EMP, solar flare the size of God sneezing. EMP, and no, you won't see it coming. No explosion, no sirens, no dramatic Michael Bay fireball. Just poof, civilization off switch. Ever heard of the Carrington event? In 1859, the sun coughed out a flare so strong, telegraph lines literally caught fire. If that happened today, it would roast the grid like bacon. Cold War? Both the US and Soviet Union tested EMPs in secret. It scared the hell out of generals because it meant you could kill a city without killing a single human. Pop culture? From the day after the revolution, we love imagining it. But here's the kicker. Reality is way less cinematic and way more horrifying. Think about this. Your bank account? Gone! Food trucks can't restock supermarkets. Planes fall silent mid-air. Pacemakers stop. You're unplugged from everything that keeps you alive. We're basically toddlers crying in the dark once the power goes. And that's why you need to start giving a damn now. Enter the Faraday cage, the electronic panic room, DIY version. Wrap your gadgets in layers of aluminum foil like it's leftovers. Or toss them in a metal trash can lined with cardboard. Congratulations, your phone is now lasagna. Commercial ones exist too, sleek and overpriced. But hey, if you want your laptop to survive the apocalypse in style, be my guest. Don't waste space protecting your Nintendo Switch. Focus on lifesavers, walkie-talkies, radios, satellite messengers, power banks, medical devices, hard drives with crucial data. Protect the lifelines, not Candy Crush. Low-tech backups are sexy again. Solar chargers, crank radios, paper maps, hand tools, stuff your grandparents used before we drowned in TikTok. Think big, whole house surge protectors, grounding, EMP rated panels. If you own a bunker in Montana, congratulations, you're already halfway there. If you live in an apartment, good luck convincing your landlord you need an EMP shield instead of new smoke alarms. EMP doesn't care about your iCloud. Offline backups are king. Encrypt drives, store them in multiple locations. You want your survival PDFs, maps, and that spicy meme folder safe and sound. You'll need juice, solar generators, battery banks, portable panels, forget the grid. Become your own damn utility company. Because when everyone else is begging the sky to turn back on, you'll be sipping coffee powered by sunshine. How do you know it works? Easy. Stick a cell phone inside and call it. If it doesn't ring, you win. If it does, uh, congrats. You've built a microwave with bad Wi-Fi. Make a portable survival kit. Toss in a rugged phone, turned off cage small radio, solar charger, USB drives with critical data, spare batteries, you want to be able to grab and go faster than you can say, oh crap, the lights just went out. Check your cages, charge your batteries, rotate devices, don't mind to wait until the sky explodes to realize your emergency radio hour has been dead since Obama asked first term. Ham radio, shortwave, Morse code, the stuff that makes nerds look cool again. Set rendezvous points with friends and family. Remember, Wi-Fi dies but human connection survives. Adapting without tech. Learn to grow food, hunt, fix stuff, barter, build a community that actually talks face to face. Tech can die, but skills don't EMP proof themselves. Here's the real ending. We won't stay down forever. Humans rebuild. The Romans had aqueducts. We'll have hacked together solar rigs. Civilization crawls back one soldered wire at a time. And maybe, just maybe, we'll appreciate electricity a hell of a lot more next time. So there you go, a crash course in how to outsmart an invisible apocalypse. EMPs aren't sci-fi, they're waiting, lurking, like a cosmic prank we're not ready for. Protect your devices, train your mind, stockpile your sanity, because the data grid goes dark. The only question is, are you a survivor, or are you just another candle in the blackout? 
you got value from this chaotic survival rant, smash that like button, subscribe, and share this video with someone you don't want to lose when the Wi-Fi dies. Stay paranoid, stay prepared, and I'll see you in the next one, assuming the lights are still on.